This is Light Man Novel with a review I actually forgot to do of my uh, Pokemon cards. I did toys. Now I'm going to do cards, which some of this, it's not all Pokemon, some of it's Garfield, like that pack, and uh, Star Wars, and other things. Okay, starting with these. These came out in 98, and you turn them, and the, whatever it is evolves, and it tells you what number it is, Meowth and Persian. These originally came in packs. There was ones that had that black at the bottom, where it's it looks slightly different, and then the ones with that kind of frame, which I guess the backs look different too. Series one in premiere edition. I thought these were really cool. This is the only ones I ever got because nobody had them. This is back in '98 when I was actually trading them. Anything Pokemon that's in this folder is from back in 98. And here's the coin that you got with the uh, Pokemon the Movie 2000 VHS tape. Which I had two, but I traded the other one. Alright, so here we go. Skipping that for now. Or forever. Uh, okay, Meowth's my favorite Pokemon, so... A lot of this is going to be Meowth. There's the coin, the official coin. I organized them by color. Except for the Meowth and the Ekans, because that's two of my favorites. Because, like, that one's dark. So, it's still here. Here's all the skitties. I just recently kind of got back into collecting them, just for the heck of it. I used to, used to collect Pokemon cards for drawing reference. But now I just collect them just because a lot of people are giving them to me with their old collections they had as a kid, so I just take them. There's my uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot, and two different hollow Pidgeots. One of, this one's like brand new, this one's kind of beat up. Here's a Doduo, Dodrio. There's the only two uh, Dragonairs I have. I don't have uh, Dratini or Dragonite. If it was rare at the time, I probably don't have it. But if it's new stuff like this, I don't have very much of it because I didn't collect it around that time, which this was 2003, so around then and up, I kind of quit collecting them. Unless I went back and got, like, a select few. So, I'm just going to show some, a bunch of these cards. Uh, tell me what kind of cards you have. What, what did you collect? I'm pretty sure, like 99% for sure, that none of these are really worth anything anymore. I keep a lot of them for uh, this, you know, remember being a little kid for nostalgic reasons. It's Whiskash. My very first Japanese card, Japanese Psyduck. I've got a few since then. Hopefully I'll be getting some more soon. I'll do a review on that because a friend of mine, he's like, oh yeah, I collect Pokemon cards too, I'll give you a bunch of them. He did collect them. I just recently got that one from one of my other friends. Never gonna turn down those legendary birds. I don't, I don't think I have any of them except for that Articuno. I just got this one recently. I need a uh, fur alligator now. That one's crocodile. The different back, the Japanese back. I like Crocodile. For the millionth time, Arcanine is not legendary, even though it says legendary. If you can train it, and if you can catch it, and if there's more than one, it's not legendary. Love that card. Everybody's got that one. Dark Tremulant, that one's pretty cool. Entei, I like how it's hollow on everything but the picture. Those are those are kind of neat. Okay, this is split up. This Ekans is fire. But all of these Ekans and Arbuck are grass. Here's this weird fake card. It's not a sticker. I don't know anything about this. It's not a sticker. I tried peeling it off there. It's too skinny. See, compared to a normal card, it's way too skinny. So I don't understand that. What the deal is with that one. 
Dark Arbok has a different face, has the evil face. But I got a Japanese one too, which is cool. Same one as that. Oh, the uh, Nitto Queen's a Spanish one, which is strange. Comment on that if you ever ever seen more Spanish ones. I think those are kind of rare. Maybe not now. I like the artwork on that. The artwork on that one too. One of my favorite scythers right here. It's got that neat hollow thing. This, this one's pretty pretty freaking new. This is 2012. Looks way better than the EX ones. I don't like any of the EX ones so far. And then there's the old school ones. So we got 98 2003, 2012. Here's the Psychic. The Alakazam's from a different series. There's the, the Mew, the ancient Mew. Here's the Mewtwo you got when you got to, got to go see the movie or as a tournament or something. I don't know. I don't know how I got that one. I didn't go to any of those things. It's good old Jinx. Unknown A, B, E. I K L M O. Two more slow pokes back there. Pikachu is the ones I kept. Raikou, which is awesome, which kind of goes with my Entei. This is a uh, Mareep, and this one's Flaffy, and that's what it evolves into. I got those really recent. There's Houndour. There's Hound Hour again, Japanese one. That's the only dark ones I have. I don't have very many dark since that's kind of new as far as me collecting them. So is Steel, so I'll have Steelix, Skarmory, which is awesome, and the Skarmory that doesn't look that cool. That one's 100 HP, so that one's better. Here's all the uh, Eevee evolutions. Eevee, Jolteon. Vaporeon that looks like a fatty. Dark Vaporeon, which is better. Espeon, that's all I got of them. Okay, these cards, which are awesome. Now, I'll warn you, this, this video might get kind of long. But these are neat. This the back of them looks like this. Of, of these kind. Or it's just going to be... Tells you about it. There's D Digimon, which I don't like that. But this is a metal card, so I thought that was kind of cool. There's a Mewtwo that's clear. And then, different series, we've got a Pokemon Advanced. I bought all these at a 7-Eleven. A while ago, which were expensive for buying them there. It's the only place that sold them. Near where I lived. Here's Pokemon Advanced Challenge. Those are stickers. Here's uh, Pikachu's Vacation cards, which is tell you text on the back. I'd really like to have more of them. There's a hollow version of that one. So that's what the back of the cards look like. Here's Garfield cards. These are win window clings. Or stick them on your mirror. It was when Garfield the movie came out, but it also had cartoon ones. This is before I saw the movie. Whenever I saw it, I didn't really like it, but I still like the, the good old classic Garfield. Comment if you collected Garfield cards, because I only had one pack, and that's all you got. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That was it. Okay, uh, Neopets. You got them in the McDonald's Happy Meal toys, or you, you got them if you bought those little bitty figurines. So that's where some of these came from. Actually, that's where all of these came from, except for like one that my friend gave me. I didn't play this card game either. I like I really like that one though. I like the artwork on a bunch of these. 
That was what my friend gave me. That's what the backs of them look like. And Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't really want to get into Yu-Gi-Oh, so the only thing I collected was cats and dragons. Got both the luster dragons somehow. Which I thought the luster dragons the same one in that in that picture and that disappear one. Or it was just things I liked. Like that. That's not really a dragon. That's not a dragon. Them too. Dinosaurs, that was cool. Penguins. Lots of penguins going. Lots of mummified things going. I like this one. I like that picture. It's pretty cool. Uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith trading cards, which are just text on the back. This is before the, before I saw that movie. These came out before it was in theater, so it was kind of a sneak peek, other than the uh, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith video game, which also had scenes of it. So both of these things were kind of to cheat. I like that one. That one's pretty cool. What's the back of them look like? That was a sticker. That one's pretty cool. That reflective on Chewbacca and Tarful. They also made widescreen cards version of them, which I'm getting to that. Here's Star Wars Clone Wars animated series cards, which I've never watched one episode of that series, even even uh, today, so I have no clue on these. There's also Action Figures line of them. This is Clone Wars, not THE Clone Wars, because that's two different things. And one of them is the CGI with uh, Ahsoka Tano in it. Ahsoka's not in th this one, the hand-drawn one. And there's the little concept art and stuff on the back. That's when I first learned who uh, Asajj Ventress was, which I thought she was a really cool character. Here's Revenge of the Sith widescreen cards. These are in a uh, uh, pictures f uh, thing where I just put four of them in there. It opens in the back right here, which... I don't have an actual sleeve for them, if a sleeve for widescreen cards does exist. Pretty sure it does, but I haven't seen any locally. I mean, I'm sure it does online. Okay, all those are Revenge of the Sith. This one's Phantom Menace. It's the only one Phantom Menace I have. And this one's uh, the Star Wars trilogy. Uh, A New Hope, whenever they redid it in 97 with the the Ronto and all the other things that were in it as CGI bonus characters. I thought that was pretty cool. That's what that one is also. Okay, and uh, The Crow, the movie, the second movie, it's called City of Angels. These are cards from that, which is really cool. I got all of these in a huge thing of them, loose, for like $3. And they have these really neat uh, poetic things on the back. I swear some of these is like deleted scenes or things that didn't actually really happen. But yeah, I love The Crow, so I gotta collect all this stuff. A lot of people hated this movie. It's not as good as the first one, I know.